Kids aren't really supposed to go through this. Really, no one's supposed to go through. She is a fighter two times over. And even though this North County fifth grader is living with a recurring brain tumor, she is still focused on helping others. That's right. New at 530, 10 News reporter Craig Herrera shows us how she's inspiring others to stay strong. Paisley Cavanaugh loves artwork. Anything that I could glue, anything I can just craft with, that's what I'll do. Today, it's a paintbrush and a canvas. Usually when I'm stressed, it just helps me kind of calm down. It's an outlet for this fifth grader from Oceanside. Kids aren't really supposed to go through this. Really, no one's supposed to go through. You'd never know it. It was pretty hard for me, but I just kind of went through it. But this happy little girl has a rare brain tumor. Craniopharyngioma. Only about two out of every 100,000 people get this type of tumor. Paisley has gotten it twice. I think a centimeter. But the first one was the size of a golf ball. She spent a lot of time at Children's Hospital. And shortly after Paisley's return home, she found a way to express herself, and that was through a book. Go now Paisley Children's hopes her Hospital words resonate with others. To come pick me up. I've wanted to give it to some doctors. Um, nurses and some children in Children's Hospital. And she just got some good news from another hospital. I just got selected to go to St. Jude's Hospital in Tennessee. That's where they're working on something called proton therapy. Technically killing the tumor and shrinking the tumor to where this would be, you know, a past thing for her. So she would have to go through it again. The family will go for about two weeks. Doing all the baseline evaluations where they do MRIs, scans, a sleep study, a fitness evaluation, basically a whole evaluation. They'll briefly return home, then fly back to Florida. Where her proton radiation will take place, and that's six weeks long. Paisley is sharing her story online, but bottom line, she has one message for doctors. Discover how you can make it stop happening. In Oceanside, Craig Herrera, 10 News. Isn't what she is, adorable? Just a spirit and a gorgeous little thing. Yeah, she's inspiring. Go get her, too. Uh, she's also got a lemonade stand. She plans to donate all the money to the hospitals that have helped her. Yeah, and she is sharing her story online. If you would like to follow her journey, just go to our website, 10news.com. Just click on the red TV button.